Uh, welcome to another mathematics presentation. So in this presentation, we continue answering mathematics paper 1 for 2024 GCE candidates. So we are going to continue from question 12b. So here is our question 12b. The question reads, the ratio of the areas of two similar solids is 9 to 25. If the volume of the bigger solid is 375 cubic centimeter, what is the volume of the smaller solid? So here we have been given the ratio of the two areas of similar solids, which is 9 to 25. And we have been given the volume of the bigger solid, which is 375. They want us to find the volume of the smaller solid. So uh, what we are going to do to answer this question, first thing, we are going to uh, demarcate so that I have enough space. So first thing, we are going to find the, the uh, we are going to find or we are going to simplify the areas of these two similar solids. So the areas of these two similar solids we have 9 to 25. So this is uh, their area, okay? So this is the area of these two similar solids. Now, I will need to simplify this, the area of these two similar solids. Okay, so I'm going to, we are going to find the square root. Okay, we will say find the square root of this and the square root of this. So the square root of 9, it's a, it's a 3. And the square root of 25, it's a 5. So we have found the square roots of these two areas, um, the areas of two similar solids, which is 3, 2 to 5, okay? So, after finding this now, we can look at their volumes. So, we are saying the volumes of these two similar solids is that if the volume of the bigger solid is 375, they want us to find the volume of the smaller solid, okay? So, what you are going to do is, since you have found these two the areas of the two similar solids which is three to five okay this one the the original one now we need to find the the original uh volumes of these two similar solids so we are going to say we'll get this three to five then since we are finding the the volumes we are going to uh write them to the power three so 3 to the power 3 means 3 times 3 times 3. And you are going to get a 27. Okay? 2. 5 to the power 3 means 5 times 5 times 5. Of which you are going to get 125. So, this is their uh, volumes. Okay? Now, the original volume. Now, what you are going to do is, we need to find the volume of the smaller solid. Okay? We need to find... The volume of the smaller solid. So we are going to equate now uh, these original volumes to the other volume which we have been given. So we are going to say we will get um, 27 to 125. Okay. Then we equate 2. So this 27 is the volume of the smaller uh, solid. This one is for the bigger one. So they have told us that the volume of the bigger solid is this. What is the volume of the smaller solid? So here we need to indicate x that will present the volume of the smaller solid to. Then you are going to write the volume of the bigger solid, which is 375. Okay. Now from here, these ratios can be expressed as a fraction. So 27 over 125, which will be equal to x over 375 okay so i hope you have gotten something here i hope you have gotten something then from here we need to find the value of x okay so the value of x now we are going to cross multiply so say 125 times x you just have 125 x is equal to you get 27 times 375 Okay, so since we want to find the value of x, so what you are going to do is this. We are going to divide both sides of the equation by 125 so that you just remain with x. 
So this and this will cancel. We are just going to remain with what? With x equal to. So here we are dividing with 125. Okay? So now, what you are going to do is, this 125 into itself with 1, 125 into 375. It goes there three times. Okay? So I just remaining with 27 times 3. So, here we say therefore, x equal to, so 27 times 3, 3 times 7, this will give us a, a 21, so we write a 1, we carry a 2, 3 times 2, this will give us a 6, plus the 2 that you are carrying, this will give us a 81 cubed centimeter. So, this was the volume of the smaller uh, solid, so we can just write our answer here, that volume is equal to 81 cubed centimeter so this is our answer all right so we now come to our question 13 right here so this is a question that came uh, from um, variation the question reads given that y varies directly as x and inversely as the square of z and that x is equal to 8 when y is equal to 4 and z is equal to 2 find the a constant of variation k so first thing we need to come up with the, the equation that will present this variation so they are saying y varies directly so this will be written as y varies directly as x so this equation of variation must have a constant so i'm going to put our constant it will be x so y varies directly as x so a constant is here k presenting a constant okay and inversely as the square of z so since it's varying inversely we need to divide you need to divide the inverse of z squared because they have said and inversely as the square of z so this will be the variation equation so i'm just going to say y is equal to kx over z squared so now we can be using this same equation to find uh, these questions the first question they are saying find the constant of variation k. So we need to find the value of this k. So to find the value of this k, we need to find the value of x and the value of z and the value of y. So here they have given us that x is equal to 8, y is equal to 4, z is equal to 2. So to find k, we are going to use the first values that we have been given. So where there is y, we are going to substitute with a 4. Where there is z, we are going to substitute with a 2. Where there is x, we are going to substitute with 8. So where there is y, we are going to put 4, then k times, where there is this x, we are going to put what? 8. Over, where there is z, we are going to put 2. Now this is z squared, so this will be 2 squared. So from here, uh, what are we going to do? We are just going to say uh, 4 equal to, so we have 8k, because k times 8 is 8k over, 2 squared, it's a 4. Okay? So, um, you can see what we have here. So, we can do this. We can say 4 here, 1. 4 here, 2. So, we have 4 is equal to 2k. Okay? So, since we want to find the value of k, we can divide both sides of the equation by 2. So, that this side will just remain with k. So, 2 and 2 out. 2 here, 1. 2 into 4, it's a 2. So we are going to have k is equal to 1 into 2, it's a 2. So k is equal to what? To 2. Okay? So k is equal to 2. We have answered the, we have found the constant of variation. Now we come to our question B right here. Find the value of y when x is equal to 18 and z is equal to 3. So we are going to use the same um, equation. Okay? We're going to use the same equation, which is y is equal to kx over z squared. Now, here they have told us that x should be equal to 18 and z should be equal to 3. So, we are finding the value of y. So, where there is x, we put 18. Where there is z, we put in a 3. So, we are going to say y is equal to... Now, remember, k, we have found the value that it's a what? It's a 2. So, where there is this 2, k, we put a 2. So 2 times this x, it's 18. 
over a z is a what? A 3. So it's a 3 squared. Because z is squared. Then from here, we are going to do this. So, uh, we we'll write 2 times 18 over 3 squared. Uh, this means uh, 9. Because 3 times 3 will give us 9. So, here, we can do this. 9 here, 1. 9 into 18 goes there many times? 2. So, we have 2 times 2. This will give us what? 4. So, the value of y is equal to, to 4. Okay? So, we have found the value of y. Now, let us move on to our third question, which is our question C. The last one. Find the values of z when x is equal to 25 and y is equal to 12. So, values of z, meaning that you are going to have two possible values of z. So, we use the same y is equal to kx over z squared. Now, here, x is equal to 25, and y is equal to 2. x is equal to 25, y is equal to 2. Then, k, we have found that it's what? It's a 2. So, you have to be careful here, because if you get a wrong value for the constant of variation, it means that you are going to get all these questions wrong. So, here, we just substitute. Where there is y, we put a 2. Where there is x, we put a 25. Where there is k, we put a 2. Where there is z, you put nothing because you want to find this value. So, where there is y, 2 equal to k, it's a 2, times x, it's a 25, over z squared. Okay? So, I hope you are able to follow through. Then from here, uh, we can see, we can do this, we divide by 1, so that you cross multiply. 2 times z squared, you are just going to have 2z squared equal to. So from here, we are going to have 2 times 25. Now, we want to find the value of z. So we are going to divide with 2. Even this side, we divide by 2. This and this will cancel. We are just going to remain with z squared is equal to. So 2 here, 1. 2 here, 1. So 1 times 25, you will get a 25. Okay? Then, since this one is z squared, this is 25. We need to get rid of the power 2 by introducing a square root. Even this side, we introduce a square root. So we are going to say this 2 and uh, uh, square root will cancel. z equal to square root of 25 is plus or minus a 5. So this will give us z is equal to positive 5 or z is equal to negative 5. These are the values of O of Z. So you can just write our answer here. For A, we found that K was equal to 2. For B, we found that the value of Y was equal to a 4. The last one, we have found that Z is equal to 5 or negative 5. So we have come to the end of our lesson. Thank you so much, everybody, for having time to view this content. This has been your presenter, Mr. Mrenga. Bye-bye.